Sir Chatur Sankaran Nair, c. of July 1857 to of April 1934, was the president of the Indian National Congress in 1897 held at Amravati. Until present he is the only Keralite to hold the post. <laughs> Early life and education He was born on of July 1857 in Chatur family in Mankara, Palakkad district, as the son of Manmail Ramani Panikar and Parvathi Amma Chatur. His early education began in the traditional style at home and continued in schools in Malabar, till he passed the arts examination with a first class from the provincial school at Calicut. Then he joined the Presidency College, Madras. In 1877 he took his arts degree, and two years later secured the law degree from the Madras Law College. <laughs> Career Sir Sankaran Nair started as a lawyer in 1880 in the High Court of Madras. In 1884, the Madras government appointed him as a member of the Committee for an Enquiry into the State of Malabar. Till 1908, he was the Advocate General to the government and an acting judge from time to time. In 1908, he became a permanent judge in the High Court of Madras and held the post till 1915. He was a part of the bench that tried Collector Ash murder case along with C. A. White, then the Chief Justice of Madras, William Ayling, as a special case. In the meantime, in 1902, the Viceroy Lord Curzon appointed him secretary to the Raleigh University Commission. In recognition of his services, he was appointed a companion of the Indian Empire by the King Emperor in 1904 and in 1912 he was knighted. He became a member of the Viceroy's Council in 1915 with the charge of the education portfolio. As member, he wrote in 1919 two famous minutes of dissent in the dispatches on Indian constitutional reforms, pointing out the various defects of British rule in India and suggesting reforms. For an Indian to offer such criticism and make such demands was incredible in those days. The British government accepted most of his recommendations. He played an active part in the Indian national movement which was gathering force in those days. In 1897, when the first provincial conference met in Madras, he was invited to preside over it. The same year, when the Indian National Congress assembled at Amaravathi, he was chosen its president. In a masterly address, he referred to the high-handedness of foreign administration, called for reforms and asked for self-government for India with dominion status. In 1900, he was a member of the Madras Legislative Council. His official life from 1908 to 1921 interrupted his activities as a free political worker. In 1928, he was the president of the Indian Central Committee to cooperate with the Simon Commission. The committee prepared a well-argued report asking for dominion status for India. When the Viceregal announcement came granting dominion status as the ultimate goal for India, Sir Sankaran Nair retired from active politics. He died in 1934, aged 77. Relatives Sir Sankaran Nair's eldest daughter Lady Madhavan Nair and son-in-law and nephew Sir C. Madhavan Nair a legal luminary and a judge of the Privy Council lived on a large estate known as Linwood, in Chennai. Within this property, in the area now known as Lady Madhavan Nair Colony, Mahalinagapuram, is situated near the Ayapan Guruvayurapan Temple, the land for which was donated by Lady Madhavan Nair. There are still many roads bearing names of the house, Linwood Avenue, and of the children of Sir and Lady Nair, Palat Narayani Amma Road, Palat Sankaran Nair Road, Palat Madhavan Nair Road. He also had eight more children, among which another daughter, Saraswathi Amma, was married to the eminent diplomat K. P. S. Menon. His son R. M. Palat was also a noted politician by himself. L.T. General Kandath, a war hero and the liberator of Goa, was another of Sir Sankaran Nair's grandsons. Sankaran Nair's grand nephew niece Amyakuti Amma's son was K.K. Chatur, an ICS officer who also served as India's first ambassador to Japan. He was the father of Jaya Jaitley, a politician and socialist, whose husband Ashok Jaitley was chief secretary of Jammu and Kashmir. Their daughter Aditi is married to the former cricketer Ajay Jadia. <laughs> 